Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I think I'm in the right spot. I actually have never gone live on somebody else's channel, so um, hopefully I'm doing things right. If you're here and watching, let me know. Um, and let me know if you can hear me and see me okay. Wanted to check in and make sure that all the audio and everything sounds good. Hi, Eileen. I know you're going live here in just a couple of days. Thank you. Um, as you know, whenever you go live, there's always a little bit of something, something that might go wrong. So <laughs> we got through it. We're here. We're live. And I'm so excited to be here on Two Buddies channel. And I love that they have created this initiative for female creators. And there is a really great lineup of women that are going to be here and talking to you guys and teaching you some really amazing tips and tricks when it comes to YouTube and especially leveraging YouTube to build a brand and build a business. Um, so I'm super Super, super excited about this. If you're here, if you're watching right now, I would love to know where you're tuning in from. And I would also love to know what you're hoping to learn from today's live stream. I am going to be talking all about something that I like to call the hot script formula. It is a formula that I've created for myself to use in my YouTube videos. Uh, checking in from Jersey, from Kansas. Hi, I'm not sure how to say your name. Di. I hope that's how I say it. Uh, Illinois, um, I'm at work. <laughs> I love it. Um, Eileen's at work right now, a little bit of a rebel. Missouri, upstate New York. I was just in New York last week actually speaking for Google, so that was pretty cool. Um, England, oh my gosh, this is so, so, so excited, exciting. And uh, love from Russia. One of my team members is in Russia, and we actually just onboarded a new team, team member who was born in Russia, so very cool. Well, I'm super excited to be here with you guys. I love talking about uh, YouTube and how to leverage it to build a business and a brand. And so that's what we're gonna be talking about today, particularly my hot script formula. I created this formula, like I said, for myself, and I wanted to give a bit of backstory before we dive into the training. So I started uh, creating videos completely by accident on YouTube. I had no subscribers on my channel. I really didn't know what the heck I was doing, but I was running a business. I had a social media consultancy for about five years. I worked with businesses of all sizes, all different industries for five years. And I got to a place, and if anyone is here who works as a consultant or does some social media management, let me know if you can relate to this. But you get to a certain point where you kind of get burnt out and you just can't take on any more clients. And so I got to that place. I had 10 clients on my roster. I was managing all of them by myself and I needed to figure out how to clone myself or duplicate myself in some kind of way. So basically what I did was all of my questions, all of my clients were asking the same questions over and over and over again. So I decided, okay, instead of getting on the phone to answer these questions or going into meetings and using my precious time that I needed to be actually executing on their strategies, I'm gonna create video tutorials. So I made my very first tutorial uh, about Periscope, which is all about live streaming for your business. And I decided to upload it onto my YouTube channel at the time. Like I said, my YouTube channel was basically for friends and family. I had a few random videos on there. It was up for a few years, but I did nothing with it. So you can imagine my surprise when I uploaded this video and the very next day I woke up to thousands of views and I had no idea how it happened. Uh, so from there, I dedicated myself to learning the YouTube platform. That was over three years ago now. Uh, and I have studied the algorithm. I've studied the platform. And we've helped more than 2,000 creators, entrepreneurs build their businesses using YouTube through my course, YouTube for Bosses. So one of the big factors of when I studied the algorithm over the past couple of years was figuring out what makes a video sink or swim in the YouTube rankings. Um, Ah, thank you so much. Um, thank you, Ian. That's really sweet. So what makes a business sink or swim in the YouTube ranking? So I would love to, to hear what you guys think. What are the biggest factors in helping videos rise to the top of the rankings on YouTube? Give me your guesses. Put them into uh, put them into the chat, and I'll, I'll take a look as I go. But I figured out that one of content is for sure something that's huge. If you have crappy content, 
nobody's going to watch it at the end of the day. Um, you can do all the research in the world, but if it's not good content, people don't care. And I think the thing for you guys to understand is, hey, Selma, I love Selma. Um, Selma and I work together on some of my clients. So I love having her here. I know she's going to put on a great show for you guys in a couple of days and lots of education as well about this. Watch time, titles, thumbnails, thumbnails and search, searchable titles, relevance to what people are looking for. So this is the thing. I've studied the algorithm inside and out, and like I said, we've tested my formula on over 2,000 clients now um, and students in my programs, and this is the biggest factor that I've come to realize, and it's retention. So you have to make sure that people are watching your entire video. YouTube has changed so much over the years. It used to be all about just keyword stuffing, and there didn't even need to be relevancy. As long as you had the right title in place, you could rank. But obviously, YouTube got smarter with the more people who are on this platform now. So now, you need to make sure that you're making videos that people are actually going to watch from start to finish. And that tells YouTube and Google, this is a good piece of content, and this should be seen by more and more people. So not only does it get your videos ranked at the top of search, it also gets you showing up in suggested. And those are the two places that you want to be seen. I know a lot of you guys probably know this, but... Search and suggested are your friends on YouTube. That's where you get evergreen traffic. That's where you get the velocity that you want when it comes to views. And that's where you get long-term success with your videos. So hi, Brian. I love Brian. Brian and I work together too. I'm so happy to have you here. Okay, so that is really, really vital and really, really important for you to understand because that is why <laughs> I have this hot script formula. I realized that I needed to create some sort of scripting formula that made sense across genres, ac across industries, across niches, so that anyone and everyone can create video content that people will want to watch from start to finish. If you guys are enjoying this thus far, if you're excited to dive into the hot script formula, give me a thumbs up. Let me know by writing excited in the comments below or yes in the comments below um, or in the chat. And we will dive into it. So uh, heal your gut, guys, as I'm going to script my videos. Actually going to shoot them today. Curious to see how it will help retention. Okay, cool. Let's dive in. This is perfect timing for you then. Excited, excited, excited. I love it. Thank you, guys. This is great. Okay. So let's dive into the hot, the hot, hot script formula and how it actually works. And I'm going to open it up to questions towards the end because I do want to make sure you guys totally get this. Um, but basically how the hot script formula works is you want to get people into the meat of your content as quickly as possible and you want to hook them so they don't leave. So one of the biggest mistakes that I see creators make on YouTube is they sit there for two minutes, sometimes five minutes, sometimes 10 minutes at the beginning of their video and they just talk about themselves and they talk about why people should watch their video and they talk about the whole backstory of their channel. Here's the problem with that. YouTube is a search engine at the end of the day, and YouTube is more and more becoming like TV. And so you have so many factors that you're fighting against in order to capture on your videos. So not only do you need to have captivating thumbnails and titles, but once someone clicks on your video, this is where the hot script formula comes in. You need to make sure they're not going anywhere and they're actually going to stick around and watch the video. So getting into the meat of your content, whether you're doing an entertainment, educational, inspirational, whatever it might be kind of content, you gotta get into the meat of it as soon as possible. Remember that nobody needs to know the why on YouTube, realistically. Nobody needs to know why they need to watch your video because they're either searching for it or they're already bought in because they've clicked on it. And if someone is searching for an answer to the question or solution to the problem, you best believe they don't need to know why they need that solution. They're already in a place where they need it, so you just need to give them the solution. So basically how it works is, let's say you're doing some sort of tutorial-based building uh, video. Sorry, I got distracted because Rothline, I think I'm saying that right, said, yep, I was guilty of that backstory thing. Um, yes. <laughs> so... They need to know the why on your channel, not so much on your video. Exactly, exactly. And there's so many, Andrew, there's so many things that you can incorporate to tell the why throughout the branding of your channel, the visuals on your channel, your tagline on your channel. They don't need to know the why on every single video. Okay, so basically how it works is it's hook outcome testimonial. That's what HOT stands for. The HOT intro on your videos is hook outcome testimonial. So say I'm doing this video, say this was a pre-produced video. 
I would hook you guys by saying, at the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to skyrocket your retention on your videos. Cool, I've hooked you. Now you know why you're watching. Now you know you need to stick around to the end to get the entire bit of info that you need in order to actually execute on this. The outcome can be, I've actually implemented this on my videos and I know that this is guaranteed to increase your attention by 100%. I know that's like a little bit crazy, but it does work really well. So you wanna give them an exact outcome or by the end of this video, you'll know the exact formula you need to use on every video moving forward to implement this on your videos. So hook, by the end of this video, I'm gonna teach you how to get, how to skyrocket your retention. And the outcome is, at the end of this video, you're gonna know the exact formula you need to follow for every single video. And then the testimonial is, I've helped over 2,000 people leverage this hot script formula to increase their, their brand awareness, increase their views, increase their visibility on YouTube, including one client who went from scratch to 100,000 subscribers in under 10 months by only posting one video a week, and that was video tutorials in a career space. So not viral videos, just career videos, and that's true. So what you guys need to know is this works across niches, and you just have to adapt it to whatever niche you're in. And what I would also love to know from you guys right now is basically, hey, um, hook doesn't necessarily need to be a why. Hook, I come from a journalism background, and so my idea of hook is basically hooking the viewer's attention in the first couple of seconds. So they need to be hooked in immediately in order to stay tuned. So the hook is, if someone tells me that I'm gonna increase my retention by 50% or 100% by the end of this video, you, I'm hooked. I'm gonna watch that video. So it has to be something a little bit sexy. Um, true, but a little bit sexy. Um, Okay, so I wanna know what niche you guys are in, and there's over 100 people here watching, so welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining. If you're just joining now, we're diving into the hot script formula, which is all about increasing your retention and rankings on your YouTube videos, which is obviously super important. Okay, so the hook is demanding their attention, and the outcome is giving them the exact deliverable and the result that they're gonna get from their video, okay? So the hook is, increase your retention by 50%. The outcome is you're gonna know the exact formula to do just that by the end of this video. Testimonial is I've helped over 2,000 people leverage this and I've helped one client go from scratch to 100,000 subscribers in under 10 months and over 10 million views on her channel leveraging this, this uh, formula. So that's the hook, hook outcome testimonial. That took me less than 30 seconds and that's ideal, right? Because we wanna get into the meat of the content as quickly as possible so people stay tuned so you increase your retention on your videos. So hook outcome testimonial, and then you're gonna dive into the meat of the content. Thank you so much. Um, fish don't think hooks are, are sexy. Very different kind of hook. Thank you for clarifying, Andrew. Um, yes, so what about truth in videos, not clickbaiting? I am definitely not click, a clickbait bait kind of person. You can watch any of my videos and know that I don't do clickbait. A hook isn't a lie, a hook is the truth. What is sexy about what you're teaching? What is exciting about what you're teaching? If you're doing a vlog, you'll notice that people like Casey Neistat, at the very beginning of his vlogs, it's usually something that's a little bit um, eye-catching or some sort of really high or peak moment of emotionality, of excitement, of something that's really funny. So you're immediately going, well, what was that? What was that piece and where is that in the rest of the video? I wanna see this later on in the video. So he's not even verbally saying the hook, but he's hooking you by showing you this really exciting part of the video that he's gonna then explain in full later on. So the hook can come in many different forms, but you need to understand the main concept here is you gotta get into the meat of your content ASAP. Cool? Um, I love that. Lately, I find it easy to just upload. Cool. Uh, clickbait is the killer of retention. People lose trust in you and Every business, every brand, every channel, it's about trust. If people don't trust you, they're not gonna watch you. So you have to build trust with your audience and by de delivering on the outcome you're promising in the beginning of the video by using this hot script formula, people build a lot of trust with you and they continue to come back every single video, every single week to watch your new content. Okay, cool. So uh, lots of different niches in here, which is really, really exciting. Uh, and if you want to check out my channel, you guys, I hope you do. It's Sunny Leonard Uzi, uh, youtube.com slash Sunny Leonard Uzi. Um, I'll put the link in the chat or if anybody else actually wants to drop it into the chat as I'm talking, that would be awesome. 
so let's dive into the next piece of this. So the next piece of the hot script formula is your content, is the meat of your content. So you ideally want to get that intro done as quickly as possible. You want to get that intro done. Thank you, Andrew. Andrew just put the link to my channel. I hope you guys head over there and subscribe. And I would love for you to check out some of my most recent videos all about YouTube tips and tricks. Um, so you want to get into the meat of your content in the in the middle, obviously. So hook outcome testimonial in less than a minute is ideal because that gets people guaranteed. They know what they're getting out of the, their video. They've landed on the right video and they're not going to click off. A really good example of this that I share all the time is I was speaking at a conference last year about this formula and the person that was actually interviewing me said, well, it's interesting you should say you need to get into the meat of the content quickly because oftentimes when I'm on YouTube, I'm actually searching for topics. She's like, the other day I was searching for how to fix my fire alarm because it was going off in my house. So there's this huge sense of urgency to figure it out. So she's like, I went to YouTube, I searched how to fix fire alarm or how to turn off fire alarm. She's like, I didn't even care what the thumbnail looked like. I didn't care what the title was. I just wanted the shortest video. So I kept scrolling until I found the shortest video with the fastest solution, and that's what I clicked on. And you have to get, keep in mind, no matter what niche you're in, a lot of the times, that's how people are thinking on YouTube. They want short, efficient, sweet, to the point, and they want the inform information that they're looking for. That's why that works. So then you get into the meat of the content. This is basically your step-by-steps. -step. This is your storytelling, depending on the kind of video that you're doing. And riddled throughout these steps, so say I'm talking about the hot script formula, I would say step one is really nailing down your intro. So the intro includes the hot script formula, which is hook outcome testimonial. You want to keep that under a minute. The next step is the meat of your content. So I'm, this is kind of meta because I'm doing this in real time as, this is, if this, as if this was a pre-produced video. But that I would go through step one, step two, and then I want to ask for engagement. Why? Because the more signals that your video gets on YouTube, the more likes, comments, shares, the more engagement that you get, the more YouTube sees this video as a quality piece of content and a piece of content that they should rank higher and push more into suggested. So what I often do is in the middle of my video, I'll ask a really highly engaging question, but a simple question, something that people can say a yes or a no to. And yes, the quality of our comments is important, but you also have to keep in mind that a lot of the times there's people coming to watch your videos on YouTube that aren't on YouTube like the rest of us all day long. So they're just learning to use it and it is a little intimidating at first. So you gotta give them a low barrier to entry for them to actually comment on your video. So you can say something like, if this script formula is making sense to you, can you guys write yes in the comments below? And you'll get a whole bunch of people writing yes, 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 yes. And then that, what that does is they've already gotten over the hump of commenting, which is awesome. They've already commented on the video. So then you can ask a more intricate question later on in the video. So middle of the video, is this making sense to you? Put yes in the comments below. Awesome. Um, I also did this at the beginning with all of you. I said, if you're excited about this scripting formula, can you give me a like? Because that's increasing the engagement. And you're just asking for that affirmation. Um, so that's another way to do it. So I ask a simple question in the middle of my content and steps, and then towards the end, I'll ask something more in depth. I'll say, I would love to know if you're going to use this hot script formula, and if you are, what niche are you in? Tell me what industry, what brand, what kind of business you have, and put it in the comments below so we can all support one another. And people love sharing their businesses and their brands, so that's going to get more in-depth comments along the way. So that's how you do it. Now, the next piece of this is continuing on in your steps, obviously in the meat of your content, whether you're doing storytelling in the middle of your video or you're doing you know, a step-by-step -step tutorial or a review of some kind, you get through it. And the biggest piece here is you don't need to add fluff or filler. So the thing is with YouTube, you want to keep it consistent and concise in your video format. And you, again, just want to get to the meat of what people are looking for as efficiently as possible. People don't want to waste their time. People have shorter attention spans than ever before now. So the more that you can get through the meat of your content or the storytelling aspect of your content in an efficient way, the more people are going to stay tuned and watch your whole video. Now, if you're watching in the beginning, why do we need people to watch your whole video? Retention is the most important thing on YouTube. Can we just get an amen in the chat for this? If you guys are in agreement with me on this and you've looked at the analytics, you know that retention is so, so, so important. So just put a heck yes in the chat if you understand that this is so important. So I'm seeing a lot of amen, so I love it. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Daniel. Um, 
Aw, oh, thanks, Brendan. Um, I subscribe to Sunny. She has amazing content for new YouTube creators. Thank you so much. Um, retention is not easy for music channels. It it It's in the context of it, right? You got to give people a reason to continue to watch all the way through. So even if you're doing a music video of some kind, you can follow the same sort of vlogging format that a person like Casey Neistat does and put something up front that's like a really big hook or super emotional or super exciting or some kind of explosion at the very beginning of the music video and then cut to two days earlier and tell the backstory and then lead up to that moment at the end. Again, that's a great way to continue to increase your retention through the video, no matter what kind of video you have. Um, all right. So thank you so much for subscribing you guys on my channel. That's awesome. All right. So that is the meat of the video. Now the final piece of the hot script formula, I'm going to wrap this up pretty quickly so we can get to a few questions. But the final piece of the hot script formula is your two times call to action. So what does this mean? Well, no matter what industry or what niche you're in, you do have other places to send people. And part of why my business has grown to a million dollar business in the last three years from scratch, all because of YouTube, and this is what I teach people in my program, YouTube for Bosses, it's because... I've leveraged YouTube to push my audience and my viewers to other places where I can continue to nurture a relationship with them, build a community, and become the person that they want to invest in and work with because they trust me and they know that I'm going to deliver a crap ton of value, for lack of better words. So at the end of my videos, what I always do is there's two calls to action that I'll use. The first call to action is engagement because like I said, those likes, comments, shares, signals on your YouTube videos, that engagement on your YouTube videos is so, so, so important. So you need to make sure that you ask people for those things. No matter how you say it, you have to include it at the end. So I always say if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below and let me know what your biggest takeaway was. That gets you comments, that gets you likes. And be sure to subscribe for new videos every single week. And if you know somebody who could benefit from watching this, be sure to share this video with them. That's all of my engagement signals in one. Like, subscribe, share, comment. So making sure that you ask for them in a way that feels comfortable for you. But regardless of what it is, you need to include it in every video. Let me know if that makes sense by putting yes in the chat right now. Okay, so thank you for all the stars. I love that. So I love that there's over 100 of, you, 100 of you here watching. This is so exciting. I'm so honored to be here. So that's the first call to action. The second call to action is driving your viewers to continue building a relationship with you. Because here's the thing. A lot of people will find you on YouTube and then they forget about you. And you just live in a YouTube box and they say, okay, bye. I forgot about you. Never mind. What you need to do is send people to another place. So you can send people to an email list to continue to nurture a relationship with them there. That's the number one thing I would say build as any creator, as any entrepreneur, build an email list. Thank you. You guys are saying, yeah, this makes so much sense. I love it. So send them to an email list, send them to a free download of some kind, an ebook or an opt-in or a lead magnet of some kind, a checklist, a cheat sheet to get them onto your email list. You can send them to a Facebook group and build a group that actually nurtures your YouTube videos moving forward. So you can distribute your videos in that group every week when you post new ones, because then you know what you're doing? You're creating your own audience. You're being your own audience instead of relying on the algorithm on YouTube to do the work for you, which not, it won't do all of the time. So if you have a built-in audience, then you have an audience for your videos every single week and they're excited to see your videos every single week because they're opting in for it. So for example, you guys, I know a lot of you are sitting there thinking, well, nobody's watching my videos or I'm just not getting the views that I want. Here's the secret. When I first started making videos, I was sending people to an email list and that email list at the time was like literally five people. No joke. But I didn't care. It was still five people who were interested in watching my content, even if it was my mom and my dad. But <laughs> that list has now grown to almost 100,000 people in the last three years. So now I now have a built-in audience of people who are interested in watching my videos every single week and will send out those videos to those people. And that immediately gives me a boost in the first 24 hours of people who want to watch my videos. So this is a really great way of taking back the control and not relying on the algorithm and creating your audience. So at the end of the video, first call to action is engagement. Second call to action, mom, dad, brother, boyfriend, best friend. That's five people. Thanks for checking the math. Um, <laughs> um, 
So that's really, really important. And it's something that will help you for the long run in building evergreen success and traffic. Um, and uh, that's, yeah, that's something to really pay attention to. So that's the whole hot script formula. Hook, outcome, testimonial, meat of your content, steps, asking for engagement throughout. So you get increased engagement on the video and comments. And then the two times call to action in the end, the first call to action is asking for engagement and signals. The second call to action is sending your viewers to a conversion site or to a place where you can continue to nurture the relationship, whether that's your website, your email list, a Facebook group, whatever it is that you can create to build a relationship with people elsewhere, the more that you're going to become the only person that they want to look to and trust, and they're going to become a lifelong ambassador and fan of your work. So that's the whole formula. If this made sense to you, could you please let me know in the chat? And I want to open it up for a few questions. Um, it, I'm pretty lost in the chat because there's a lot of comments, which is amazing. So I do want to, <laughs> I do want to ask for some questions from all of you. Um, if any of this didn't make sense or if you need any clarification on any of it. And again, thank you so much to TubeBuddy for having me. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can head over to youtube.com slash sunnylinnerdoozy. And I'm just going to put another link in here right now. Um, but we have a guide that I created um, called the Zero to 100,000 Subscribers Guide in Under a Year. And it's the exact process that one of our students um, did, followed our process, broken down so you can take a look and actually yet leverage that for your business and your brand and your own YouTube channel. Um, so she went from scratch. She didn't have any business. She had 50 subscribers when we started working with her. In 10 months, she had over 100,000 subscribers. Um, and today, she has over 300,000 subscribers in a year and a half, which is pretty incredible. Um, and she's built a multiple six-figure business from YouTube directly from using this formula. So I put the link in the chat. It's sunnylinnerdoozy.com slash subscribers. You can head there, grab that link, download the guide, and let me know what you guys think. If you're starting to use it, take a picture of it, share it on Instagram, tag me on there. It's just at sunnylinnerdoozy. Um, Tell us how to reach for 4,000 hours. Well, if you were listening for the past 30 minutes, it's to use this formula. Um, <laughs> um, so hi, Apollonia. Apollonia actually has grown from scratch to uh, 32,000 subscribers, I believe, in five months, five months, six months. Um, and she has an amazing channel all about dating and relationships. So you can drop that link in here if you want, Apollonia. Um, so she is one of my students that it's freaking amazing. Her YouTube bosses is the real deal, guys. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, lots of love to all of you. Lots of love to Chew Buddy. I hope this made sense for all of you. Um, you can you can copy that link and you can put it in the uh, browser and check it out. So it's sunnylinnerdoozy.com slash subscribers. I'll try writing it again, see if it makes it clickable for you guys. .com slash subscribers. Hopefully that works. Um, I think that, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Thank you, Andrew. That's, that's awesome. Now it's clickable. Um, perfect. I don't see too many questions, so I hope this made sense for you. If it did, can you guys let me know by giving me a thumbs up and also putting yes in the comments below? Um, TubeBuddy just shared the link that I was talking about. I'm actually just going to copy that if it'll let me. Nope, it won't. Um, so I'll write it in here too. Uh, da -da -da. Cellularduzy.com. Oh, I see some questions coming in. Um, there we go. Uh, see some questions coming in. Let me just see. Thanks for the brain food. You are welcome, Michael. Um, uh, yes, Johnny, head over to my YouTube channel, and you'll be able to find some more details on this formula. Thank you, Omen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope I said your name right. Um, would you ever use a five second video in every video of yours? So I don't know what you mean by that, but I think you mean a branded intro. And if you do, I'm down for that. As long as you do the hook outcome testimonial before your branded intro. So people know what you're talking about before you get into the branded intro. If that makes sense. Um, awesome. Do you believe your cell phone camera is good as using expensive camera? Yes. So JR, I started with a $80 webcam and just a window for lighting and that grew me up to 50,000 subscribers. So I think use what you have. Our phones now have amazing cameras in them. And I think that's perfectly fine to get started. Um, awesome. Can you say everything slower so I can hear what you're saying? 
Um, I don't talk fast. Y'all listen slow. So that's, <laughs> I think you just need to be used to how it's how it speak. Um, and you can slow it down if you want on your, on your side. Um, I had a lot of information to go over. So I wanted to make sure I got through it all. But I do have a lot of videos and resources on this topic on my YouTube channel. So you guys can check it out over there. We also have so many guides and checklists and cheat sheets and things that you can take advantage of all free. Um, so go check those out and download them. And of course, I think the replay will be up here. Make sure with TubeBuddy, but I'm pretty sure the replay will be up here for you guys to check out as well. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, you guys. If you're just getting started building an email list, that's a great question. MailChimp is what I recommend. It's awesome. It's free up to 2,000 subscribers. It's what I used until I hit a point where I needed to um, get something a little more advanced. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. Yes, the replay will be live, so you guys can watch it again. And for the gentleman who said I need to talk slower, you, sir, can watch this again. Um, watching for the first time, I just did it. Awesome. Cool. You guys, this is an awesome initiative by TubeBuddy. I want to give them a massive high five for doing this. More female creators, more women creators. There's a lot of brilliant women out here on YouTube, a lot of brilliant men out here on YouTube. Um, and so I'm seeing, I'm loving seeing more of the female creators representing and sharing their knowledge because it is very valuable to all of you. So thank you so much. I appreciate all of you and I will talk to you all soon. And I hope you come say hi over on my channel, youtube.com slash Sunny And I hope to see you very, very soon. Thank you guys.